Okay, this video is about um, soap. Um, what is in soap that is actually hurting people? And they don't even know it. Um, I've made this discovery months ago. Uh, I used to play a lot with soap. <laughs> yes, I used to play a lot of soap. I try to make soap into liquid soap so I can less buy less, blah, 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 blah. Then I started to discover why I got sick. I got really sick because of it. And um, the reason why I got really sick, because I'm very sensitive to smell. Yes. You're going to hear a lot about that too. If you, if, if you see some of my videos, I talk about smell. I'm extremely sensitive to smelling things. I can smell things far away. And I tell people that I can actually smell radiation. Yes, I can smell radiation. And because of my smell, I have made major, major discoveries. Um, one of them, I I'll name a few. One of them is actually uh, the soap. Uh, soap. <laughs> well, that's what this video is. Another one I made another discovery was about my heating system. Our heating system used to have this weird, weird smell. So I made another discovery on that, which no one in the world knows it. And I still have not pumped out that video yet. I have not put it out because there's legal things about that. I, 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 uh, we still talk about a lot of things right now. It's still in the work. Okay. So if any of you guys... Uh, I'm waiting for that video. I'm really sorry, uh, but during this time, because of legal issues, I cannot put that out of yet. I said yet, okay? Due to legal issues, and believe it or not, um, if they know who I am, the HVAC industry probably kill me for that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's another story. I'm not going to get into that. And then I made another discovery about radiation, about a lot of things about radiation. I love that one the most. Radiation taught me a lot. Oh my, and I will teach you a lot about it. Um, so there's a lot. Uh-huh. And I also can smell a lot of things, which I'm not going to get into because it's going to be parts of my videos. Uh, I want to take people on a journey. That's what I want to do. Uh, a journey of learning. And <laughs> I mentioned that plenty of times in my videos. But anyway, so let's get back to here. As you can see, all these are soap, liquid soap, and Castile. Okay? And people swear up and down that Castile soap is natural well yeah kind of where it came from yeah but what's in it and there's two ingredients that I'm gonna list on the screen is potassium hydroxide which is right here okay potassium Hydroxide. Okay? That's what these Castile soap is. In here is sodium hydroxide. And guess what? Look into Drano and look into um, a bottle of um, toilet cleaner. Wait, let me get it for you. This is Mr. Plumber, okay? This is for a drain. Putting down the drain. Look really close. Sodium hydroxide. This is in a liquid form. And look at the danger they put on there. Because they knew. It may irritate skins, eyes, blah, 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 membranes. Mucous membranes. Ah, mucous membrane. What does your mucous membrane does? Huh. Smell. Mmm. Mmm. 
There you go. Instead of liquid form, they turn it into solid form. And then they took that hydroxide in the same principle, they turn into potassium hydroxide. Uh huh. So, this is where your health comes in. And it's and this is what is actually hurting you. And I have one video, I call it my ultimate video. I'll link it right up here. Okay? That talks about all these stuff. But if you don't believe me, and that's what this video is about, if you don't believe me, take your bath bombs, the solid ones, like those balls, put them in soap. Hot water. Contain a lot of hot water. And smell it. Just stand right on top of it. And as the hot water is mixing anything, smell it. One. If you get tired. Two. You get fatigue. Three. You get nausea. Four. You have a hard time breathing. Five. You are going to fall asleep. In about maybe 10, 20 minutes later. Like, you know how people take a bath at night to fall asleep? Uh-uh. It is not what it is. It is not what making them fall asleep. Like they said, hot water, warm water mix. Uh-uh. It is two ingredients that is on your screen right now is what making you fall asleep. Mm-hmm. It's making you tired, it's making you fatigued, it's making you uh, weak, it's making you like, I don't know, breathing, through breathing. And that's why they said, look at the warning itself. Next time when you go, read the Drano, or in this case, liquid plumber. And look at the, look at, look at the, look at the, look at the, look at the danger on that. Okay? And imagine, imagine... Okay, they always tell us, lie. Yeah, they lied, all right. Mm -hmm. L-I-E, not L-Y-E. Yeah, it's L-I-E in there. Yeah, they really, I call the biggest lie in human history. That's what I call them. And, and because I was playing with them months and months ago, I don't even know, like, uh, I was still in school, so it's probably like April or... Even early than that. And that's when I made this huge discovery. And then later on I found out a lot of things. So I made another video. And now uh, the ultimate video will be in my ultimate video. But anyway. I'm going to push this on the side. And hear how you test these. Okay. And it is. It is not. What they think it is. Here's how you test it. To see if you are. One of those people, like me, okay? All you do, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get tired. But pretend that these are here. I'm going to use these instead. These are safe. Or even this one I like. They're from the dollar store. But they are safe. And no. Let me tell you something. I'm not advertising for anybody. Believe it or not, they actually, YouTube do not like these videos. Mm-hmm. But, anyway, all you have to do, okay, and here's how you test them out, including bar soap, okay? Scrape them or, you know, lather them, whatever do you need to do with, 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 with bar soap. Fill it up with warm water, okay? And take these. If you really think it's natural, give this a test. Take these. But I'm not going to do it, like I said, because I don't want to get sick. I'll do these instead. My liquid soap. Just put them all in. Okay? Now pretend you have these in there. Squish it around. Okay? Put your nose in it and stay here and breathe this in with that soap. If you think it's really natural, 
Give it a try. Put this in. Within, just stand up here and just breathe it in. Because remember, warm water. What is warm water? Radiation. It will bring all this out. It will release it. And when you breathe it in, it will go into your body. And guess what will happen? If you are sensitive people, these are for the sensitive people. That these are the people don't know what they are getting hurt by or it or whatever. Okay. All you have to do is use this method. Fill it with a lot of warm water. Pour your soap in there. Squish it around like that. Stand on top of the hair right around here and breathe in. Okay. About 10 to 15 minutes or so. If you're starting to feel weak, if you start to feel nausea, if you're starting to feel um, like you have to go and lay down, tired, uh, headaches, um, like you're about to pass out. I mentioned about that on, the, on one of the videos that I'll link up here. I talk about Whitney Houston passed out in there. Uh, die of drugs, of course, but this is what made her pass out, which nobody knows. Not nobody in this world knows. You feel all that, then you know what is actually hurting you all this time, and you don't even know it. Okay? And also, too, I made a huge, because of this, I made a huge, huge discovery why our bathroom is being dirty. Uh-huh. Your bathroom is being dirty because of the soap itself. The two ingredients, including these two. Mm -hmm. You wash these and you start to see your bathroom get dirty. You go to liquid soap like these, cheap, cheap liquid soap. You will see what happened to your body. You will see what happened to your sink. You will see what happened to your shower. You will see what happened to your bathroom. Mm -hmm. Clean the toilet with this too. Just remember. That's all you really need. And you will see how your cleaning is. But not about cleaning. This video is not about cleaning. Your health. Yes. Your health. And I have that video clip right now for you. That's showing you. That months and months and months. And I have not been clean. This is a short clip to show you how clean my bathroom is. Those are actually shadows. I'll move it a little bit so you can see. See right there? I can't move any further because, see? Just that white part, okay? Look how, look how nice and clean it is. This is just shadows. I don't have good lighting in here except for the one. Because I live with incandescent bulbs, uh, light bulbs, so it's not that good. Um, in case someone doesn't know what it is and how why I live with just incandescent light bulbs I'll leave a link right up here for you Okay So you can check that out why I live with fluorescent light, but this bathroom has not been clean For months. I don't even really remember I'll check it and I'll leave it on the screen right here for you since when the last time I cleaned, I actually cleaned this. And nope, those have been stuck there for all that time. Some have actually been clear. Like some of those right there. It's actually clear and you notice all I have is liquid soap. Okay, that's the evidence right there. Okay, so now you saw that video. I explained a few things in that video. And because of all this. I was able to figure out all these things right here. And yes, through smell. That was the, that's how I would made the discovery. Through smell. And because of that, I went into it and I found out further and further and further and further. What was the culprit in two of those, those um, ingredients. And that video is it's in here. It's right up here. My ultimate video. Okay, now, before I go, just remember, if you don't know what's hurting you, and you don't know what you're tired of, 
If you don't know what the fatigue, you don't know what nausea after washing dishes. Imagine, get tired after washing dishes. Nausea getting off washed after washing dishes. Even if you just woke up early in the morning, taking a shower and got tired. You just woke up, take a shower, and then you suddenly you got tired. Huh? Well, well. You got your answer right up here, but this is what how you test it, okay? This video is about how you test it to see if you are sensitive to two ingredients that I will leave on the screen for you. And these soaps right here. Oops, <laughs> I just made a big mess there, but because of these soaps right here, I found out what their ingredient were or is. And that's how I made discovery. But this video is about testing it. So if you want to make the test, do it just like this right here. Do the test with warm water and either liquid soap or bar soap. And just grind them up and put a bunch of them in there. And like I said, sniff it. And if you heard it, and if you feel like I described a little bit earlier, that's when you know those two ingredients is actually hurting you. They're not helping you. They are hurting you, okay? Other than that, that's about it on this video. And I will see you in the next video.